हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बायोक्वेस्ट बायोकेमिस्ट्री क्लासेस टुडे आई एम बैक विद अ न्यू वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑन माइक्रोपिपेट माइक्रोपिपेट्स आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज्ड इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन द लेबोरेटरी द माइक्रोपिपेट्स आर डिवाइसेस यूज्ड फॉर डिस्पर्सिंग स्मॉल क्वांटिटीज ऑफ फ्लूइड्स और लिक्विड्स the volumes are expressed in microliter it has movable parts made up of steel and plastic and uses a detachable tip to hold the samples the micropipettes work on air displacement principle now let us look at the parts of micropipette this part this orange colored part this is known as the plunger this plunger serves two important function first is by pressing the plunger we can aspirate or dispense sample it has two stages of resistance just like a jetta pen the first stage of resistance is used to aspirate in the desired volume the second stage is used to dispense the last drop in the tip the second important function that this plunger serve is it helps to set the desired volume by rotating the plunger the desired volume can be achieved with a click sound for every increment or decrease in volume if we rotate the plunger clockwise we can increase the volume and if we rotate it anti clockwise we can achieve a decrease in the volume this orange colored part this is known as the tip ejector it is used to remove the disposable tip after use this part it is known as the grippy it helps to have a tight hold or grip of the instrument while we are aspirating or dispensing the sample this one it is known as the digital window or digital volume display where we can see the volume at which the instrument is working this part it is known as the tip knob or the tip cone where we attach the disposable tip so these are the parts of micropipette now depending on the number of tip cone or tip knob micropipette can be of two categories if there is only a single tip knob or single tip cone that means it can aspirate one sample at a time this is known as single channel micropipette now look at this it has multiple tip knobs and it can aspirate many sample at a time it is used in enzyme linked immunosorbent assay for estimation of tumor markers and hormones so this is known as multi channel variant of micropipette depending on the mode of working this two are semi automatic there are automated or electronic versions of micropipette too and depending on the volume micropipette may be fixed or variable that means some range of volume may be displayed like 10 microliter to 100 microliter or 100 microliter to 1000 microliter so this type of micropipette can aspirate any volume ranging from 10 to 100 or 100 to 1000 fixed means it can aspirate only one particular volume like 500 microliter so there are three classifications of varieties of micropipette depending on the mode of action number of channels and the volumetric display now why this micropipette has replaced the preliminary glass pipettes that were used initially what are the added advantages the micropipettes are designed for use in diagnostic or medical laboratories research laboratories blood bank for handling of blood serum plasma body fluids chemicals so on and so forth so let us check out the advantages 
the risk of cross contamination between samples can be avoided because we use disposable tips better accuracy of measurement it is much more accurate than the glass pipette eliminate the necessity of washing between samples as we are using disposable tip so there is no need to mandated that calibration of a pipette should be done at fixed intervals now this calibration should be done from an external agency preferably or can be done in house also now let us look at the steps of calibration what are the prerequisite we need a calibrated or standardized electronic weighing balance we need deionized water at a temperature preferably less than 20 degree centigrade and we need a calibration chart displaying the date the operator who is doing the calibration the name of the laboratory the pipette model serial number volumetric range etc now what we have to do suppose we want to calibrate a pipette at 500 microliter we have to take a sterile volumetric flask put it inside the weighing balance and it will display the weight of the empty volumetric flask then we have to nullify the weight of the volumetric flask it will turn down to zero then suppose we want to calibrate the volume at 500 microliter so we have to aspirate 500 microliter of deionized water put it inside the volumetric flask in the weighing balance and it will display some weight we have to note the weight here and again we have to set it to zero we have to repeat this process for minimum of 10 times calculate the mean and see the percentage of error if it is within acceptable limit that means our pipette is calibrated so these are the steps of calibration of a pipette if we go for calibration by an external agency then we have to collect a calibration certificate mentioning the date of calibration date of expiry of calibration the volumetric ranges and we have to collect the accreditation certificate of that agency who have taken the responsibility to calibrate the pipette now let us look at a video of calibration of a pipette so this is a single channel variety of micro pipette here you can see there is only a single tip knob as i have said micro pipette can be fixed volume or variable here you can see it is a variable the volumetric ranges is 5 to 50 microliter now i am rotating the plunger so the volume can be upgraded more than 5 or it can be rotated and adjusted to less than 50 any volume and by pressing the plunger or rotating it we can serve the actions of the plunger now let us check how to aspirate the volume using this micro pipette now this is a disposable tip i have taken it and this is the tip uh, cone and now i have adjusted the volume to 5 microliter i have fixed the disposable tip on the tip knob and gently i have created a negative pressure by pressing up to the first resistance in the micro pipette and i have submerged it in the blue colored liquid now i have gently released the pressure and you can see here this much of volume is the 5 microliter now if i want to dispense it i have to press it up to two resistance so that no further volume of liquid remain attached to the tip now how to remove the tip knob or sorry how to remove the tip from the tip cone i have to press the tip ejector here i have pressed the tip ejector and the liquid has been removed If you like my channel stay tuned for new videos thank you for watching and do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon to get the 
notification first 